everyone. Welcome. It's Jen with Let's Get Chalking with Jen, take two. So I hope you're able to come back on. It take is two. Take, two. take two. Husband's fault. Woo -woo. Okay, you guys. So as you come in, please make sure you say hello. If you are watching the live, you will see a little red box up in the corner. And if you love what you see, please make sure you share my video in the bottom left-hand corner of your mobile devices is that share button. Take two, you guys. I hope you come back and watch. I am so sorry about that. Don't know if we had a power surge or what the heck happened. So I am Jen with Let's Get Chalking with Jen. I am an independent couturier with Chalk Couture. For those of you who are new, welcome. And let me tell you a little bit about what Chalk Couture is. We are a revolutionary concept in high-end DIY home decor uh, and crafting. You're not going to find our products anywhere else. We offer a line of silkscreen reusable transfers. And yes, I said reusable. We have our Chalkology Chalk Paste and our Couture inks, which we are using this evening. We do offer several surfaces. Hello again, Sandy. Thanks for coming back. Sorry about that. Um, we have chalkboards, box wood frames. We have canvas pillowcases and totes, but you can use our products on an array of surfaces like wood, windows, tin, dry erase boards. You can do t-shirts and pillowcases with our inks. Hey, Linda, welcome back. Hey, Deborah. But the greatest thing that I can offer to you is a ground floor DIY home decor business for just $99. And welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Don't know what happened. There he is. Say hello. He Hi. hasn't been here in a while. This is my Matthew. He's down here with me. Dad made a power surge and I was in the middle of a video and poof, he was gone. <clears throat> so we are going to be doing a t-shirt tonight, you guys. So we're going to be doing some ink. So let me get this all set up so you guys can come and see what you are here for. So like I said, we have a line of silkscreen reusable transfers. What is so cool about that is... So I'm doing a design for you tonight on a t-shirt. If I want to make another design using the same transfers on a chalkboard, I totally can do that because you usually can get anywhere from 8 to 15 uses out of one of these transfers. So you guys, I was on the live a few minutes ago and you have two choices for tonight. So these are going to be two new transfers. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Deborah. Hey, Tia, welcome. I'm going to be using two new transfers tonight that are going to be coming available to you in February. You guys, we have a new catalog launching February 4th. Um, really, really excited about. There's going to be 128 new, whoop, whoop, new transfers that are going to be released. So I'm real excited about that. Some beautiful new boards and surfaces. We have some new tools. So these are two of them. One of them, this is called our monogram. So the monograms, this is a five by seven transfer. It's gonna be all individual letters that you could purchase separately and only buy what you want. And let me tell you, I've got some big plans for those letters. You know, those cute little welcome signs you see on everybody's front porches. I'm gonna be able to make one and so can you. Okay, sorry, I get excited. And then this one is called our So Foxy. So this is one of the transfers that is going to be new coming out. I think this is so cute, and I thought it would be really cute on a t-shirt. Now, I was going to either do this, like the wreath part of it, and put the J in the middle, or I was just going to just keep it like this and do the fox. So tell me if you want to do the fox or if you want to do the J. I know before we had two foxes, so we'll see what everybody else has to say while we continue going on. Now, my t-shirt today that I am using, um, this is actually from Dick's Sporting Goods. Now, you can buy t-shirts from Amazon. You can buy t-shirts from Michael's. This one was just one that I had got over the holiday season, and I just wanted to do something cute to it because, as you can see, it's just a basic plain t-shirt. And you guys know all those cute fancy t-shirts out there that have the words on them. I don't know if you can see mine up here. This was one I did for the holidays. I actually have... The cute little vintage truck on there so anyway i did a video on that one too you could check that out um but i like making my own t-shirts so hey laura hey tanya welcome now this is one other thing that we do offer at chocotour this is our ink mat now you don't have to have this do the fox wendy says do the fox 
Oh gosh. It's, what's the song, Matthew? The Fox song. I'm not going to say it because I know that you're going to be doing it all okay. night. Okay. There's a Fox song out there. What does the Fox say? Dun, 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 dun. I can't remember how it goes. So anyway, <laughs> this is our ink mat, you guys. I love these for two reasons. Number one, I'm going to pull this little carrier sheet off. These are reusable, so you can reuse these over and over again. Hey, Sharon, welcome. The other thing, you guys, it has an adhesive side to it. And why do I like that? Because what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to stick this right underneath here. And when I'm doing t-shirts, you know, you always want to make sure you kind of have it in the middle. What I like to do, and this is just my little tip, is I always want to make sure I focus on where my little tag is or little um, thing is in the back that lets me know. And that's how I kind of know where the middle is. Okay. But I've got my ink mat in there. And what this will allow me to do, hey, Stephanie, hey, Sharon, welcome, is this is going to allow me to smooth out my surface so that I don't have any wrinkles in the area that I'm going to ink. And then, in addition to that, what I love is it doesn't let my surface move. Now, again, you could totally put cardboard underneath here if you wanted to. I prefer the ink mats because it gives me that. It gives me that it doesn't move. It gives me that adhesive to smooth out my surface. And then it's also good if you would happen to have a thinner fabric that will you don't want any bleed through. Okay? Told my sister, told, told her. Oh, that, thanks, Mary. You told somebody to watch to learn how to do this. Oh. Hey, Deborah, welcome. Hey, Stephanie. All right, so now I've got that all done. I'm going to go ahead and remove my transfer from the packaging, you guys. Now, you always want to make sure you write on the back. Sorry about that because you want to know what side to put your transfer on because there are two different sides to your carrier sheets. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Shalene. Welcome. Hi, Roberta from Minnesota. How is it cold there too? Yeah, it's cold here too. It is freezing. I had on four shirts today. I'm down to three, but I had four shirts on today. So what I tell people all the time, never pick at the corners of your transfers because you can tend to peel them apart. Take your finger, rub it over the edge to get it started, just like that. You're going to flip it over. You like that little magic trick there? <laughs> you're going to flip it over, and then you're going to peel your carrier sheet from the transfer. Now, being that I am doing this on fabric, I do not need to fuzz up my transfer. So I'm just going to take this and place it right where I want it. And again, I'm just kind of using that tag as my middle. So I'm going to place it where I want it. I think I'm going to do the fox. What do you guys think? I only had, so I have three foxes and no initials. So I think we're just going to go with the fox, right? I think that's good right there, you guys. And then I am going to do the same process I normally would do as if I was chalking on a surface and smooth it out so there's no air bubbles in my silk screen. Now, when I do fabric, I tend to press a little bit harder and go over it just a little bit more. Just my preference because I want to make sure there's no air bubbles in there. Okay? The inks are permanent inks. And they are a little bit different consistency than our chalk paste. And I'll show you that here in a minute. So they're kind of, I don't want to say they're a little bit thinner, but they are. That's the only way I can think of describe it. Okay. So I'm just smoothing that out so I don't have any air bubbles in my silk screen. Where are you going, babies? A kiesel. My kiesel's down here with me. Hey, Linda, you say fox. Mary says fox. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Hey, Melissa from Texas. Welcome. We're going to be in convention in Texas this year. I cannot wait. So I'm going to be using three different inks. Now, I always like to have a paper towel handy when I'm using the inks. It's just, it's just me. You don't have to. Entirely up to you. But I'm going to be using our um, Couture... Couture Coral 
Say that fast three times. Our eucalyptus and our white, okay? So just three different colors I'm gonna be using for this design. Oh, don't I have a white open? I think I have a white open, you guys, wait a minute. Sorry about that, don't mean to get out of the screen. I just know I had one. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna take all my lids off. Ooh. So I wanna show you this really quick. I might not have used this one. Oh yeah, I did. <coughs> I got a little tickle in my throat. Excuse me. I know soda is not good for you. I say pop, but everybody else says soda. So I kind of want to show you the consistency of the ink. Do you see how it's a little different than our chalk paste? You don't need to add water to this ever, ever. You don't ever want to add water. But I just kind of wanted to show you it has a different consistency. Okay. So I'm just going to just wanted to show you that real quick. Now, what am I going to do? Oh, gosh. I didn't really think about this beforehand, but that's okay. So I think... I think I'm going to do him in white and then I'm going to do the rest of it in the color. So let's get started. Okay. I'm a little nervous. I am. I am. So I'm going to start with my white. You know what? I don't like the way this white is. All right. Gosh, you guys, I'm really nervous to do this. I don't know why. Because I didn't think about the colors I wanted to use. Now, when you are doing your inks, again, just like the chalk paste, you want to just smooth it across the silk screen area. No different rhyme or reason, left or right, doesn't matter. You just don't want to get it in the areas you're going to put your other ink on. So I'm just trying to do this. This might take me a little bit more concentration, you guys. So as you come in, please say hello to me. I would love to welcome you. I'm just in serious focus time right now. And actually, you know what? I'm going to get my multi-purpose tool because it's a lot easier to get into the smaller areas. I don't know about you guys, but it is so cold here in New Jersey. So cold. I think it was like negative 30. I'm, I'm exaggerating. I am. I know. But I have just been freezing all day. And I thought, I'm going live tonight. I am off tomorrow. So I wanted to enjoy my evening and do some chalking. And I thought, what better way than to chalk with all of you guys with some new transfers. So this is what's really great about this multi-purpose tool, you guys, is it's nice to get into the smaller areas if you need to. All right, so I got my little fox. Now I'm going to go with my eucalyptus. Hey, Lori. Hey, Gail. Welcome. And I'm going to do the outside over here. And again, you're going to scrape off your excess. You don't need to leave the excess on. Boy, I hope this color shows up on here. Do, 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 do. And if you have any questions... Do the inks dry? No. Debbie, the inks do not dry as fast as the chalks. They do not. That's one really nice thing, and I was just going to mention that, so thank you. Um, you have a little more play time with the inks than you do the chalks. With the chalks, you need to make sure you get it off as quick as you can because they can dry, where the inks are not like that.
So hopefully this turns out. I'm not sure this color is going to be that bright on here because this is a gray t-shirt. And this color, I just love this color though. It's a eucalyptus. And I'm only going to do like the bigger flowers. In the pink. Do, do, do. So exciting. So you guys, I'm very concentrated tonight between the video before ending and not knowing what colors I wanted to do. Oh, I tell you. Now, once we're done with this, we are going to heat set it to make it permanent. And once you heat set the inks, you absolutely can wash them and dry them. I think the pink's going to show up really cute on this t-shirt. And then let me get, I need to get in here. Now, for those of you that are watching, if you are a crafty person, let me tell you, we have the most amazing products on the market. People are absolutely loving this. Me, personally, I do a lot of local workshops here in my area where anybody from being crafty to not being crafty can absolutely use our products. So I'm actually going to get my multi-purpose tool back out, you guys to do the pink. And I'm a little bit worried about that white. I hope it's not drying underneath there because it looks like it is. So I might go over that just a little bit when we're done here. Worst comes to worst, I just have to go over it. And if not, no big deal. I think this might have been better with just maybe a, like one or two colors, maybe not three. So let's see how this turns out here in a second. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm a little worried about this one. This may be my first wah, wah, wah. And that's okay. It happens. All right, so let me see. I think I want to just go back over the white a little tiny bit. I just don't like how it's looking. So let's see. Yeah, I think I'm a little worried about this one. You guys, a little worried about the white. Uh-oh. It's feeling a little dry. All right, well, let's peel and reveal. If it didn't work out, we will see. We shall see. So, when you are peeling your transfers, top to bottom, left to right. Ooh. Ooh, you guys. Ooh, looky, looky. I was worried. I was so worried. Oh, my gosh. Look how cute. Oh, I love the colors. I was a little worried the colors weren't going to look right. I love the eucalyptus. Don't worry. Be happy, Gail. Yes. And now you know why I love these products. Oh, my gosh. 
I think that was the first time in a while that I have been wa worried about how it was going to turn out. And I love it. What do you guys think? Do you love it? All right. So now what I'm going to do is I need to heat set this. Uh, where am I at? Okay. So to heat set this, thank you guys. You would use an iron, excuse me, for four minutes on each side if you don't have a heat press. So I have a heat press. I'm going to show you. Oh, thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Roberta. Thank you, Linda. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat press, heat press this. I actually really, 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 really like this a lot. So what I'm going to do now, you guys, I'm going to take my ink mat out. Okay, so again, now you see I've got some ink on here. A little bit of water takes that right off. No worries. Again, totally reusable. I'm going to get my parchment paper. While that's heating up, I'm going to put a piece underneath. And I'm just waiting for my heat press. Blow this dry a little bit more. It looks very vintage, you guys. I'm going to try to get a closer shot for you. But I have to say, I love it. It looks super vintage, like a really vintage t-shirt. I love it. I'm just waiting for my heat press. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you guys. Hold on. Uh-oh. Matthew, you're going to be the top three. <laughs> we lost power. Uh -oh. Hold on, guys. Hey guys, you still there? Okay. Yeah, I think it is. Oh. <laughs> Oopsies. Are you guys still there? Oopsies. I hope you're there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I blew a fuse. Blew the fuse. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So, now... After all that excitement, I guess it wasn't my life, not my night to do a live. I'm going to go ahead and stick part, parchment paper on both sides. I still am waiting for my heat press to warm up. And oh my gosh, could anything else <laughs> happen tonight on the live? I bet the heat you press... guys, thanks so much for sticking around. Gosh, you know, I bet the heat press is going to do it too. No, what it was, buddy, is I had the heat press and the hair dryer going at the same time and the TV and the lights. Just a little too much. I am cool <laughs> under oh, pressure. The heat press is ready. All right, the heat press is ready, you guys. So this is my heat press. I have it set on 320. It's a Cricut heat press. I love this thing. Overload. <laughs> Why are you dimming already, Mom? Shh. It's all good, baby. It's all good. So I'm just doing this for 30 seconds on each side. The things that happen on live video stay on live video, right? It's all good. All right. So I'm going to set that aside. And then what I want to do...
So I'm going to flip this around to the other side, you guys. At least I didn't swear. I am so glad I didn't swear. Okay. So just flip it over. Take my heat press. I love this heat press. Truthfully, I love my heat press. Yes, Sandy, you absolutely can do a, 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 just a regular iron. Four minutes on each side. So four minutes on the front and four minutes on the back. With this, it's just 30 seconds on both sides and you are good to go. Oh my gosh, that was hysterical. <laughs> All right. So, let me turn this back around for you all so that you can see our beautiful beautiful t-shirt I got this t-shirt from Dick's Sporting Goods but like I said you can buy these from Michaels you can buy these from Amazon but this one's from Dick's so you guys there you go super awesome here I don't know I don't know if you could see like I want to kind of show you I mean, look at the detailing. Look at the flower detailing. It is super, super gorgeous, you guys. I love it. So thank you so, so much for sticking around. You guys are the best. I hope you love the products. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if you want to check out all the great designs we currently do have available, all of our inks and chalk paste, my website is chalkingwithjen.com. Deborah, you are so right. Making memories, that's totally what it's about. And um, if you guys, again, any questions, let me know. Matthew and I, <laughs> we're going to head on out for the evening. It's time for it. I think it's time for you to get ready for bed there, Tootsie. No. And I'm going to clean up. Wow. And um, let me see. Look, does anyone buy wholesale products? Um, Lori, I'm not sure what you mean by wholesale products. So if you want to reach out to me, I would be happy to answer. But if you could give me a little bit more on what you mean as far as if I do or, or I mean, this is a company, so I'm not sure. All right. I'm so sorry. All right, you guys. So have a great evening and happy chalking. Bye. Bye-bye.